What's up guys? I'm Colin from Render Effects and this is how to make a lightsaber in Final Cut Pro. Let's get started. First, find yourself a lightsaber prop to use for your effect. I have a cheap toy one and also a modified version with a longer blade. I created the modified one so the blade would be at a more realistic length, but this is optional. Now you're ready to film your shot. For this effect, you can use a tripod or handheld, it's up to you. Then go into frame with your lightsaber prop and film your scene. You can be as creative as you want with the movement and just act like you're holding a real lightsaber. Remember that great acting is important to create a convincing effect. Now that you have your shot, let's hop into Final Cut. Import your footage into Final Cut and drag it into the timeline. Press Command J to make sure your project is in 24 frames per second. This will save you a lot of time and look the best. Now that you are ready to add the lightsaber blade, go to footagecrate.com. There's a link in the description. You can quickly and easily create a free account which will allow you to download the lightsaber composites. Search lightsaber in the search bar at the top. You will be able to download any of the clips that don't have a yellow star next to them. You have the choice between red, green, and blue. I'm going to use blue for my shot, but any of them work. Once you download the composite, drag it into the timeline above the clip you just filmed. Then line up the timing of the lightsaber to the shot. You may need to repeat the lightsaber clip in order to cover all of the time. Now select the lightsaber clip. In the effects panel, change the blend mode to screen. Then go to the color board and turn up the exposure of the highlights. These are the settings which look best for my shot, but you can tweak the intensity of the exposure to get the best results for your shot. Next, select the transform tool and change the size and rotation until it lines up with your first frame you have the lightsaber in. Don't forget to keyframe the position, rotation, and scale. Then, go to the next frame and transform the lightsaber clip again to line up with the prop from your original clip. You will not have to do this for every frame. For the slow movement, you can skip ahead a couple frames. It just depends on how consistent your movement is. For this part of my shot, I will skip multiple at a time because I don't move the lightsaber quickly and it is moving in the same direction the whole time. When you have skipped a few frames, rewatch it to make sure it lines up with the prop. If it does not line up at any point, just add another keyframe and line it up. You can repeat this process until it looks good. For quicker movements, you have to go frame by frame because the direction of the blade is changing quickly. For activating and deactivating the lightsaber, just resize the saber so it goes out over the span of a few frames, just like how the toy prop extends. Once the lightsaber has been lined up over the whole shot, you are done. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more because this will be a multi part series where we show you how to do more Star Wars related effects. May the Force be with you. Peace.